Hello, my name is Erin and I'm a History of Art student at the University of Glasgow. Welcome to our additional information on Entombment by Rembrandt. This guide will give you some of the context around this work. In the 1630s, Rembrandt was commissioned by Friedrich Hendrik, Prince of Orange, to create his Passion series, a set of dramatic scenes similar in style to this one. This sketch, in oil on oak panel, measures just under one metre wide and less in height. At a little over half the size of the paintings in the Passion series, it arguably conveys just as much life as those larger, more finished earlier pieces. His contemporaries even commented that these smaller pieces conveyed human emotion much better than the larger ones, and these works were often described as depicting passions of the soul. The scene depicted here is from The Passion of Christ, the part of the New Testament that relates to the final days and the resurrection of Jesus. The entombment deals specifically with the preparation for the burial of Christ. In the Protestant Low Countries, many artists would avoid such subjects, but Rembrandt and others continued painting Bible subjects due to the demand from wealthy patrons. It can be argued that Rembrandt creates a much more serene and sombre rendition of this motif than some of his predecessors, such as Titian and Caravaggio. The sombre mood of the scene is created by the hunched stance of the figures and the general looming shadow hanging over the scene, brought to life by the single glowing candle held by one of the mourners, which illuminates the body of Christ and brings about a contemplative mood. In this way, and because of all the figures facing inwards towards him, we know Christ is the key subject of the scene, and, without knowing the title, we could hazard a guess at who the lifeless body is. Although the composition is balanced in terms of solid figures, Christ's body lies slightly off-centred to the left. For a figure of such holy significance, he appears to be small and frail. Although he still glows with his holy light, the frailness of his body creates a sad and mournful scene. Many of Rembrandt's religious scenes are painted in a similar manner, atmospheric neutral tones, illuminated by a single light source representing a holy figure, and this work is no different. <laughs> 